So get out there. If you haven't already done it, get out there and do it now. But we are joined by the GM out here at Skybrook. Mike LaPierre joins us. Mike, what's going on? Hey, how's it going, guys? It's it awesome. Good. I mean, you can't beat this right now for kind of a I grand know. reopening, beautiful, right? Beautiful weather, beautiful golf course. Uh, yeah, we're thrilled. We're absolutely thrilled. I mean, how much did it cost you to get this weather today? <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you. It's, uh, <laughs> it blew the budget, let me tell you. Yeah, I got a chance to play out here Thursday. It was gorgeous then as well. Usually, with the amount of time that I get to play golf these days, um, usually when I do get to play, the forecast is for, like, you know, locusts and, uh, you know, the second coming of uh, every single storm uh, and thunderstorm. But it was a beautiful it Thursday is. as well. Yes, it was gorgeous. Yeah, we've had uh, just a great couple of days yeah, here. The last, the last five days, you can tell just by the color of the sky that there's no humidity, like really low humidity. And so that's, that makes it even better. So you guys, uh, grand reopening today. You uh, gave today. your members a preview on Thursday and Friday. We did, um, yes. Uh, Ray reviews. The, the greens are just phenomenal. They are. And uh, I, I played, I kind of whipped around here by myself and uh, in about two hours and 25 minutes, I think it was. Talk to some wow. of the to talk to some of the players as they were letting me fly through them, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't think I had a putt that bobbled. No, no bounces. I yeah, mean, everything it, rolled. And and how long have the has it been for these greens? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. That's amazing. Yeah, so we're. I mean, they just they've grown in phenomenal. What uh, uh, what hybrid is this? Uh, Mini Verde Bermuda. Mini Verde. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you know it's it's interesting. Uh, there's a little bit of grain in them, but not much. Yep. Which is always uh, what you look for in Bermuda greens is yeah you you've got to be aware of where the grain is. Correct. If you're correct. putting downhill down grain, it can get away from you a little bit. Or if you're putting uphill into the grain, it's it, but for the most part, they don't impact the putt a whole lot, which is always nice for Bermuda greens because in right. the you know years ago it was always like okay man I you know. I, I I played out at Pebble Beach with with that the grass that they got out there, man. I played in a tournament out there when I was 17 years old. Had never experienced that in my life. Oh, the, you know everything breaks to the ocean, right? Right. You right. could literally have a three foot putt. The ocean is to your left, and the and it could be on a 45 degree angle to the right, right yeah. and that putt will go left like up the hill. And, and so that was always what you dealt with with grain. And these greens, you know, are phenomenal, and uh, the grain is, is 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 very light in terms of the effect. So. Uh, but man, I tell you what, the whole golf course just looks great. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're we're really thrilled. Um, you know that Mini Verde Bermuda, obviously, as you mentioned, the green. Um, you know, it's it's a hybrid Bermuda, so yeah. they've really refined it yeah. and um, taken that green out of it. So it's a very it's, true, true it's, putting surface. It's amazing what they do with, with hybrid grasses down in Tipton, Georgia. That's where all this grass is grown, and it's just that place is a factory down there. If you've never been, it's pretty interesting, folks. So, uh, you know, we were talking just before we came on. Uh, when I was going through some of the groups out there, I was, I was stopping and asking, hey, you guys remember? Oh, yeah, you know, I just joined. Um, sounds like we've had a little rush lately of uh, people getting excited about the reopening. Yes, there's some great buzz. We've got some great value memberships that are available. Um, we signed up about 34 members in the last six or seven days. Fantastic, so. man. Just that incredible is... buzz. Wow. And, you know, people wanting to see the facility and sure. take advantage of, of the deals and the options that we have for membership for general public play. Um, Good you know, stuff. We're thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at the membership categories right now. I mean, platinum golf, junior golf, silver golf, the platinum golf is, uh, you know, is $180 for an individual, $200 for the family. Uh, that is basically a full membership, everything that you want, full use of the golf course every single day of the week. Seven days a week. Yep. Open to close. And, uh, and, and any children under the age of, of 23, then you've got the, the junior golf, which, uh, you know, Maddie, we're a little old for that, but <laughs> barely, barely. You know, wait, wait, I'm way old. <laughs> <laughs> ages 23 to 35. Um, you can get again, an individual for 130, a family for 165. And then you've got the silver golf, which is, uh, Individual 125, family 155. You can play any time during the week and then after 2 p.m. on the weekend. Correct. Yeah. Very, you know, we tried to tailor it towards whatever option works best for you. And we do, you know, at, we're a semi-private facility, but we offer a lot of great member experiences. We do member tournaments throughout the year, member member, member guests, club championships. So we make it, it's kind of a, a private feel, although it's a semi-private facility yeah, yeah. and the value um, is tremendous. And am I seeing this right that there is a an initiation fee of five hundred dollars? But if you join and you commit to twelve months, they what you waive the membership. Waive the initiation, initiation fee. fee. Oh Correct. my goodness yeah. gracious! What yes. a deal. Yeah. What a deal. 
So you got you guys sounds like you guys are busy. Busy. You've got the um, you've got uh, Friday night trivia up here at the clubhouse. We do. Yeah. Every other week. Every other Friday, we do. And then um, you've got a Tuesday kids eat free. Kids eat free every Tuesday. We do a different buffet buffet style meal. So we do a different theme each, right. each Tuesday. We do a junior clinic prior to that um, for the juniors as well. Um, so it's a it's a family friendly atmosphere up is here. That, is that well attended usually, Mike? It is. Yes. Yeah. We uh, we take reservations for all of those dinner nights okay. and we sell out pretty much every week so Fantastic. yeah and i mean you know you can go uh, the, again the general public is welcome to come out and play you can Absolutely. register for tea times right here on the site as a matter of fact if you want to come out and tee it up at 1206 p.m today there you go 61 dollars. that's a phenomenal price for noon time on a saturday absolutely and, and a newly renovated golf course and you know as you guys alluded to just fantastic weather today you couldn't ask for a better day yeah, I mean, and here's the thing. If you haven't played Skybrook before, uh, it, it, what year did this open? 2000. 2000. Um, and, uh, I cannot it, believe this golf course is 19 years old. Yeah, I know. Wow. I know. Wow. I know. And uh, we had some years in there. To, uh, as we know, some of the golf courses up in this area, uh, uh, Highland Creek and Tradition, um, the IRI golf group came Correct. in. Yeah. And uh, i got to say, not necessarily the best group in terms of running things. No, no. Being polite. Yep. No, that, that is very polite. Yeah. They, they <laughs> uh, you know, there were some tough times for the Charlotte golf market as a result. Oh, yeah. And uh, But those days are behind us, especially at Skybrook. We've, yep. we've turned the corner and... It's a new day. And I'm telling you what, if uh, this golf course is everything that you want, uh, it's 7,000 yards from the tips where I played it on Thursday. The par threes uh, are not the easiest par threes out here. I think the shortest one was 177 yards. Yep. Uh, and uh, the par fives, two of them are, phew, I tell you what, they might be reachable. Uh, <laughs> You have to get a little aggressive. Uh, 18, I kind of took it over the tree. Oh, great, yeah. And, and But still, I mean, I hit a great tee shot, was right in the middle of the fairway, had a little downhill lie, but I still had about 230 in, Yeah. hitting off a downhill lie to an uphill green. Right. So, yeah, so the par threes and par fives are everything that you want out here, and there's some par fours that are easier, and there's some par fours that are kind of medium, and then there's some par, par fours that are hard. So you I'm going to tell you what, you hit a lot of golf clubs out that's here. That's right, and that's one of the beauties of it is, is you use every club in the bag, and you know, as you, as you said, it's very tough from the tips, but we have five sets of tees, so we have all abilities can play here and, and can enjoy the golf course. But if you want to make it challenging, you, you absolutely can. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and the thing is too, there's there's plenty of opportunity to miss it a little bit. Yep. But there's some trouble out there as well. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of places, and and you know, like like I'll give you an example. The first hole, the first hole is a fun first hole because you feel like. It's the, the left the left side will kick everything to yeah. the right, and the right side will kick everything to the left, so you can just, and the tee box is a little elevated, elevated. you can yeah. just get up there and hammer it right down the middle I, of the I think right. it's a great opening <laughs> hole for that reason. I mean, yeah, exactly. Elevated tee shot and everything funnels to the fairway. Um, gets you out of the gate with, with confidence, and uh, hopefully that continues on for your round. But you guys got a little bit of everything going on out here. You got lessons going on. You got great tournaments going on. We Give do. us a feel for all of that as we reopen here. Yeah, a lot of activity. Um, you know, obviously I, I mentioned our member events, but we have a lot of outside events as well. Um, a lot of corporate outings. Um, it's a great venue to, to host an event. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a new day. And uh, the facility clubhouse is, is greatly improved. All right, let's do some giveaway stuff. Hang on, just as I know you got a question there, Maddie. Let's do some giveaways. We're going to give away some, uh, like, five free twosomes. Correct. Awesome. So if you want to send us an awesome. email at info at the golf shop show dot com, again, info at the golf shop show dot com, uh, you can uh, send us a, say, I want to play Skybrook. And give us your contact information, and we will hook up uh, five of our emailers with a free twosome out here. Yes, absolutely. All right, what do you got, Matty? Well, I, I was looking at the group lesson uh, plan that you guys got. And folks, if you're looking for a lesson, this is the place to come. Um, and, Mike, please, please uh, verify this, but um, you can get five 90-minute group sessions or one 60-minute private lesson for only $149. Exactly. That is amazingly. That's just it's a great, a great value. value. Yeah. Um, the adult classes are from 5.30 to 7 on Thursdays. The junior classes are 4 to 5.30 uh, 5 on Thursdays, 2 to 3.30 on Saturdays. So you're busy with a lesson thing, guys. Huh? We are. Yeah. And, and we feel it's a big part of obviously oh, sure. growing the game of golf yeah. and getting more activity out at the golf club is, is introducing people to golf. Yeah. And uh, Lucas Banks, our head golf professional, does a phenomenal job at those clinics. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we're thrilled. That is awesome, man. Uh, how's the tee sheet looking today? Is it uh, pretty packed? It's packed. It's packed. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, 
with college football starting, you typically see a yeah. little little decline. Well, but uh, you know, we got a ton of activity out here, and uh, you know, obviously for those that are playing this morning, we've got this, the games on uh, this afternoon, so there'll be a lot happening at the club. All right, so for anybody that's actually on the putting green or milling around that's paying attention this morning, I'm going to give away a free dozen encore golf balls if somebody wants to come over here and pick those up. Uh, I'll be uh, happy to do that. There we go. Oh, I Pat see. Patterson is not missing the boat here. <laughs> Pat, he ran here. No, you see the man in the green shirt right there. <laughs> You know, the, the, good, the good looking one, the yeah, eye candy for the show. Go. There you go. Uh, Thank yeah, you, yeah, it makes perfect. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, there you go. I, I like that. We have we have a listener, so uh, that's good. We always like to have one listener at least. Uh, no, you guys have a ton. I, when I was on here the other week. Hey, Charles, my man, my man walking over here, give him something too, because he had his hands up like he wanted to win something. So uh, <laughs> let's. That is a our longtime member, member Brandon Russell. There you go, great guy, Michigan State fan. Oh, die hard, yeah. Michigan State well, fan. They won, yeah. so, so they're off and running pretty well. Yeah. Mich- Michigan State's my sleeper pick to win the Big Ten. Oh, uh, he loves you right now. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's. Now, if people want to join the club, how do they go about doing that? Contact me, uh, Mike Lapierre, so mlapierre at skybergolfclub.com. Email me; I'll get you the membership information. Um, it's an easy sign-up form, and you know, as we said, it's an incredible value. Do you guys feel like that this is an opportunity to kind of to, to reopen and rebuild the golf course and rebuild the membership yes. and get everybody excited again? Yes, and there's such positivity right now. Obviously, as you guys talked about, there was a past, but we moved on from that. The and best thing to happen to you know, golf ball it, it's uh, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, yeah, just very uh, yeah, a lot of positivity here at the golf club. So we're thrilled with growing our membership base getting the general public out here to see the facility and, and the improvements that we've made. And again, these are the first phases of the improvements. So this is an ongoing process this winter, this fall, next spring. Um, you know, we're, we're committed to improving this, this golf facility. Now, how do you balance uh, the, the membership versus the general public coming in? And, t- you know, some, so if somebody's interested in joining, they're yeah. saying, okay, I've got to I've got to deal as a member with the general public coming in. Are there certain times that or uh, availabilities that the the membership has that the public doesn't? Yeah. So our, all of our members have a 14 day booking window, which that allows you to have any t- time really you good. like. Exactly right. The general public can start booking seven days in advance, so you have an extra week, you know, to to get that tea time that you want, the Saturday morning time, the Sunday morning time, or whatever time that happens to be. And, and how about uh, events that you're going to have here that are club events? I mean, does the general public have an opportunity to come in and play those? Uh, the member events are for members okay, only. Gotcha. Yep. Um, and we do host those on weekends as well. So those are blocks that we set aside for our membership. So there's so tons of value club there. championships. Yep, member, member, member all that. Okay. which our member member is in two weeks. So we can't wait for that. That's kind of our kickoff to the fall here. and uh, Perfect, perfect conditions for that. We've already got probably 25, 30 teams signed up wow. now. So it's a, it'll be a fun event. Yeah. Nice. So I got an event for you. Oh, yeah. It's called the 19-Man Shootout. Have you ever heard of one of those? I have not. Oh, you and I are going to have to talk about that one. Yeah, let me know. I'm, yeah, I'm all ears. Yeah, it's it's an exciting event. So uh, I actually ran one. Uh, I, I ran the men's, the men's Golf Association over at Northstone for a while, and that was okay. the first event that I put in. So basically what you do is you, uh, you, let's say that on May 1st, you open up qualifying. Okay. And everybody can just walk into the golf shop. They can tell you that they're going to go qualify for the 19-man shootout. Yep. You charge them $30 the first time that they go play. Okay. So... They come in, they got to present you a scorecard, and it's 80% of the handicap, and you just start tracking everybody's score. Now, you can try and qualify as many times as you want. Okay. So the next time that they come in, you charge them like three bucks. So 30 for the first time, three, yep. three bucks for each additional time that they want to qualify. Okay. You, you, open, you have an opening date for the qualification, you have a closing date for the qualification. Yep. At the end of the, at the closing date, you're going to take the top 19 scores, the low 19 scores, and it's based on the date. So if you have let's say 19th place is tied for six guys at 64. Mm-hmm. It's whoever did it first. Uh, so there's no playoff. So it's whoever gotcha. did it first gets in. Now you have 19 guys yep. and you've set your date to go play this. 19 guys will tee up on the first oh, that's hole. Phenomenal. You eliminate, I already love it. You eliminate one per hole. It's okay. going to take you six hours, maybe on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday phenomenal. to play. Yeah. But at the end of the day, on the 18th hole, Everybody. you have two guys. Yeah. Battling and out, and then one guy's going to win. And if there's ties, you have chip offs and on. There's a lot of details I can tell oh, you about. But it, and I'm sure all the guys that get eliminated to hang out and watch. And they hang out I'm and watch, sure. and you and, and everybody's going to win something. And everybody no, that makes the cut's going to win something. On the so other we'll, hand, maybe your T sheet's so full that you don't have to do a 19 hole shootout. 
But it's fun. It's that fun. would be great too, <laughs> right? Uh, that's the whole point. Is yeah. it's going to be a Sunday afternoon? It's uh, a fun, yeah. Probably exactly. around this time of year. Yep. Yeah. And uh, that's a great idea. I'll have to. If you were playing it tomorrow, schedule. it would be epic. Oh yeah. It would be epic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before before football season starts. Yeah. yeah. If this is the, this weekend is the weekend to hold it. But, uh, trust me. But uh, anyway, man, I tell you what, we appreciate you uh, having us out yeah, here. I appreciate you, so you letting us fun. play. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate the and, support. Uh, and again, if you want to win a twosome, info at thegolfshopshow.com. So, uh, Mike, thanks hey, for coming out. Thank you, guys. Thanks really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Anyway, uh, Mike is brought to you by Charlotte Comfort Systems, where your comfort is their business. Call 704-366-1661 or log on to charlottecomfortsystems.com. And don't forget, Charlotte Comfort Systems has a best price guarantee. When we come back, we're going to talk to the U.S. Amateur Champion, Andy Ogletree. Stick around for that. Mark Greenhouse, Matt Blanchard, Zach Ryan, you're listening to the Golf Shop Radio Network.